What is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be looking at class methods and static methods in Python. Now what they really do in essence is add a bit more meat to our classes in that they offer a bit more functionality and different ways in which we can write our Python classes. And of course they have different use cases. I wouldn't like encourage you to just use them whenever or wherever possible. They are useful for some things, they're not so useful for other things. However, in this video, we're going to be going over how how they work, how to implement them, what the differences are between class methods and static methods, and also to give you an insight in what sort of ways you may use them. Now, to begin with, let's go ahead and create a class. We'll just call this the monster class. So something like that you would imagine in like a game, for example. And we'll add our init. And here we will say self name so a monster will have a name it'll have a strength and we'll give it a defense as well and then let's just add them to our properties so self.name self.strength strength self.defense equals defense and then let's just add a string method and we'll just return we'll say self dot name all right so first of all let's go ahead and check what class methods are all about now a class method in python is a method that is bound to the class but not to the object of a class so for example you don't you don't have to instantiate or create an instance of a class in order to make use of them. Now I can ramble on about it. However, it's probably best to look at it via the code. So we'll say class method. So in order to create a class method, you need to add this decorator. So this at class method, and then underneath define a method, the same as you do with the usual methods. And for this one, we'll just call it dragon. And then instead of self, Instead of writing self as you would for a standard uh, Python method, let's instead put CLS or class. It's just short for class. Now here, all this will do is create a monster, but we'll create a dragon monster, for example. So we'll then say return CLS. So referring to the class itself. And then we'll say the name is dragon. The strength will set it to 90 and the defense will set it to 90 as well. All right, so that's what a class, me class method would look like. So you have this CLS parameter instead of having the self that you would with a normal uh, Python method. And then here we're just creating the CLS is basically saying return a monster, but with these parameters. So with the name as dragon, with the strength as 90 and the defense as 90. Let's go ahead and create another one. We'll say, let's create another class method. And here we'll say zombie and CLS again. And here we'll just say return CLS. We'll say zombie, oh, missing a colon here. We'll give it a strength of 10 and a defense of 10. Now, just like with normal methods, you can of course add more parameters here. So for example, if you wanted to specify the strength, you can just add in a parameter like so. And then here, instead of having a default value of 10, we can say, okay, when creating a zombie out of this monster class, we can specify the strength of it. So let's go ahead and look at them. So first we'll say dragon equals, and then we'll say a monster and rather than instantiating it like this, like you would with a normal um, class, you can just do dot and then say dragon and then call it like you would a normal method. Now, this is what I mean with class methods in that they are bound to the class, but they're not, they don't have to be bound to the object and they're usually not used in that sense. So for example, we do not have to create a monster object. We can just call it straight from the monster class. Now for our zombie, we can say monster 
and we'll say zombie. And here we've added another parameter, so this strength parameter, and we'll just say, let's give it 10. Okay, so that's how a class method would be called in Python. So you, again, just to repeat myself, you do not have to create or to use a class method. You can use it straight out of the class itself without having to create an object out of it. And when I say object, I mean something like, like this. So that would create an object. In this case, we're not creating an object. We're just calling the method inside of Monster. All right. So the other thing with class methods is that class methods can access the state of a class. So for example, any property that we make available publicly in the class, the class method can access it as well. So for example, if we added a, let's say a, a value such as our, our monsters, monsters, evil and we'll say true in this case let me just format this so here we can say we can access this inside of a class method so below let's create another one and we'll just say this method will turn monsters from being uh, evil to not evil and there we'll just do make monsters good and we have a CLS and then we'll just say CLS so rather than self dot and then mo our monsters evil we would use CLS because it belongs to the class itself dot our monsters evil and we'll set that to true so with class methods you can make use of the public properties that are defined you can't use self.name or, self or the name strength or defense because these are not publicly accessible. These are things that belong to an object of a class, not so much the class itself. So for example, if I try to access it here, cls.name, we can't access it, cls.strength, we can't access it because these are things, these are properties that belong to an object of that class and not to the class itself. So I'm repeating myself a few times here, but this is a key thing when it comes to class methods. So I just want that to really sink in for you guys. All right, so if we then said something like print, so let's see what monster dot, our monsters evil, let's print that out. And then let's call monster dot, um, make monsters good like that. And then print monster dot, our monsters evil. And if we were to print this out, so just over here in my terminal, if I run Python and my main file, we get, oh, this has to be set to false. So if I run this now, so we get true. And that was before we called our make monsters good class method. And then we get false after we call it. All right, so that's pretty much how class methods work. The next type of method is the static or our static methods. Now, static methods are very similar to class methods. However, there are some slight differences. So in order to create a static method, instead of using the at class method decorator, you would instead use the static method uh, decorator. Now for this, let's create a static method and we'll call this fight. And the diff one of the differences between a class method and a static method is that it doesn't take a CLS parameter just like we have with our class methods and it doesn't take a self one either. Now I'll explain what the point of that is in a second. So let's say fight will basically take two monsters and they will fight. Say monster one and monster two. Now here we'll just create something like if monster one dot the strength is greater than monster two dot defense. Then we'll say monster one wins. <laughs> then we'll say underneath that else monster two 
dot strength is greater than monster one dot defense say print and here let's add monster two wins all right and we're getting an error because this needs to be an else if like so and then else we'll just say print no one one all right so that's just the meat of our let me just exit out of this that's just the meat of our static method. So again, the first difference between a static method and a class method is that we don't add like a self parameter in the beginning or a CLS or a class parameter in the beginning. And it just takes in normal parameters. So monster one, monster two, you could add whatever parameters you want, much like a function. And you can kind of see this as like a function that belongs to a class, but doesn't belong to any of the objects. Now, as well with static methods is that when you want to, or if you're going to use a static method, this has to be a method that will not make use of anything that belongs to the class itself. So for example, in our static method, we cannot make use of our monsters evil. There's no way we're able to do that. So if I try to access it, A, I can't access it using the CLS because we don't have the class and the static method does not care about the class, there's no self, and we can't even make use of our monsters evil like this it's just not possible for a static method to make use of anything that belongs to the state of the class and let's go ahead and try it out so if i were to go down here so this is again one of the similarities of a static method so in order to use a static method you would use it you would call it just like you would with a class method so if i said fight like this and passed in dragon and zombie and then run this program we get dragon wins because dragon has a greater strength than the zombies defense so that's pretty much it when it comes to class methods and static methods just to kind of reiterate the differences is a class methods use the class method decorator whereas static methods use the static method decorator class methods have this parameter cls or class that they always have now this class can access uh, the class itself and any of the kind of properties that are made public within that class whereas with a static method a static method is pretty much like a method that doesn't know what class it really is in it doesn't care about what class it's in. And here, for example, we have fight. And you could, one would or could argue that this could easily just be a function outside of the class. I mean, there is debate around how one should use a static method. And of course, it's also a preference in some cases. But in this case, the static method, hey, it doesn't have, or in every case, it doesn't have a clue about the state of the class it belongs to. And it pretty much, you can call it just like you call a class method in what we did with make monsters good, for example. So that pretty much brings us to the end of class methods and static methods for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it valuable. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and also subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.